Hello, hello, and welcome to the Joe Luca Real Estate Show right here on WNRI 99.9 on the FM dial, 1380 on the AM dial, and you can also listen to us on WNRI.com. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. We are here every Tuesday evening from 6 to 7 o'clock p.m., and guess what we talk about? Real estate. You know, this show is designed for you, the consumer, whether you're buying or selling, or even if you're renting and think you want to buy someday, we can help you put a game plan together to do that because we have some great sponsors who help in that regard. Okay, we have John Dolbeck and the Dolbeck team at Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, 401 321 4401. John and his team do a fantastic job getting clients ready to buy a home. So even if you don't have great credit, you don't have a down payment now, they can connect you with the right program to fix your credit and help you build up a deposit. And if your credit is at least a 660 right now, you can get a down payment assistance in the amount of $17,500. Okay, all you have to do is give us a call, 401-321-4401. We also want to thank Beacon Title and Escrow. Closing in title services extraordinaire for buyers and sellers. They do a great job. Anthony Betancourt is the managing partner, and Rich Nicholson is the attorney partner there, and we thank both of them for everything they do for our clients. Uh, GMET's moving in storage. You know, they are really the last touch point when you are moving because they pick up your belongings at your house or your apartment and move you to your new residence. They are the ones, it's so important that they do a good job, and they are real just crackerjacks. They do, uh, all their workers are employees, uh, their trucks are spick and span, and um, their pricing is very competitive. But you have to give them a call because, of course, Beacon Title and Escrow, you know, they are very busy, but not too busy to give great service, whether it's a small job, just moving furniture from one end of the house to another, or moving an entire house to another part of the country or another part of the state. But you have to just give them a call. 401-383-6399 is the number. 401-383-6399 is the number. And they'll take really good care of you. And please mention the Joe Luca Real Estate Show when you call because um, I would appreciate it. And then, of course, lastly, you know, these are the winter months. We've had a lot of really cold weather. We've had a lot of rain. Knock on wood, uh, we haven't had a lot of snow yet. Hopefully we don't. But if you have a problem, okay, especially with the cold weather, my well froze up. Now, that's not a, an insurance claim issue, but it's just an indication of the types of things that can happen. You know, a lot of tree branches and trees fell down. You've got to give Vern Rainville, a public insurance adjuster, a call, 484-300-8495, because he works for the homeowner, the property owner, not the insurance company. Vern Rainville, Public Insurance Adjuster, 484-300-8495. He will hook you up and help you out. We want to thank all of our sponsors for their continued sponsorship of the Joe Luke Real Estate Show. Now, the market. What's going on in the market? You know, I had the uh, Maria Bartiromo show on this morning, and I, I love the work, and she has some real smart people who come on sometimes, but uh, when she has real estate people on her, she has stock people talking about housing and the economy with, uh, you know, the housing recession and, you know, these on the Chiron at the bottom of the screen, it says housing prices could drop another 15%. Well, I don't understand where another 15% comes from because at the end of last year, home prices were up compared to the year before. And again, I, I'm pointing out, it's so important when a listing agent puts a house on the market for five hundred thousand dollars and then you reduce the price to four fifty four thirty five four hundred whatever it is that doesn't mean the value of the home is going down that means the price is being reduced that's separate that's just determining the fair market value for that house houses in the aggregate have been increasing in value accumulating equity okay and that's a really good thing because if you're a homeowner, you want that's how you build your net worth. That's how you uh, increase your net worth. So it's important that we have a vibrant economy. Um, you know, people say, and I talked about this last week, I'm going to repeat it again this week. People talk about how 
It's got to be a correction. It's got to be a crash. The market has to come down. These prices are just too high. They can't continue going up. Well, look, you know, in 1980, single family home in this country was about $94,000. 20 years later, in 2000, it was, depending upon what data you're looking at, anywhere from 194 to a little over 200,000. The end of 2022, prices, the average price for single family home in this country was almost $400,000. That is an increase of, on average, 10.1%. 10.11% per year. We averaged 3.02% per year in uh, for inflation over that time period. So that's a net increase in value after factoring in for inflation of still 7% per year. And we had the worst real estate crash in history during that time period. And in spite of that, home prices still continued to go up. Now, did it, was it a real bummer for if you had to sell your home during that crash? Yes. And a lot of people, millions of people, lost money. Yes, that's true. But that doesn't mean in the long term it's bad to buy a home. Because the people that bought their home five or seven or eight years prior to the crash, they were fine. It was the people who bought their home in the, immediate, the years immediately leading up, leading up to the crash that had problems. But then if a little bit later, you had all the people who bought the houses at much reduced values because they were foreclosed or distressed sales. They made out like bandits. You know, there were condos that, uh, you know, were purchased for 200,000, well, 100,000 bucks in, let's say, 2000, and then 200,000 bucks in the mid 2000s, uh, and then for 94,000 bucks. Uh, after the crash. Now, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but that's the kind of fluctuation that people saw and the type of um, opportunities that people could create by buying properties. However, in the aggregate, long term, and buying a home is a long term proposition. You have a 30 year mortgage. The average person stays in their home seven years. So if you're looking at a seven year window, that is when you can make strides towards increasing your net worth. Especially if you take care of your home, you have pride of home ownership, you paint it, clean it, maintain it, the landscaping. Those are things that really help uh, increase the curb appeal for your home and thereby increasing the demand for the home because more people will want it, okay? Um, so, you know, these are the types of things that when I see these headlines, 15%, another 15% decline in home values, it gets in my craw because it's, it's not happening. Now, will prices go down? I don't know. I'm, I don't have a crystal ball. The NA, the National Association of Realtors, they're saying, uh, you know, low single digits. Uh, there are some other entities, Fannie Mae, FHA. They're indicating higher single-digit declines. Um, and others are indicating, you know, you have Zillow's and the Redfin's and uh, Zellman. You know, everybody has their own way of interpreting the data and they're prognosticating, they're forecasting. So it's a little bit of a, a guessing game. But the average is about 5% drop in prices. But that's not everywhere because there are going to still be areas where home prices increase. And again, it's never a bad time to buy a home if you are currently renting or your family is growing and you need a bigger home. Okay. Um, my buddy, Enrico Cardillo, he just tuned in on Facebook. Where I put my glasses so I can read what he typed. Okay. All true about what you heard. Yep. From Maria Bartiromo. That's Exactly. Yeah. Let's wait and see what... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see what the president, uh, the, or should, excuse me, the resident has to say tonight uh, in his State of the Union address. That's going to be interesting if it uh, is anything of interesting uh, and pertinent to what's going on in the economy. You know, we had a really strong jobs report in January. So the speculation is now that's going to prompt the Fed to increase rates a little higher, a little more drastically than they were forecasting before. Um, the real thing that, and that doesn't impact mortgage rates, 
the thing that will impact mortgage rates is what's going on with the inflation rate. If inflation continues to drop down, I think the number I last are in, a, in good shape. If it's staying low, if it starts to go up again, mortgage interest rates are probably going to, going to go up again. You know, we're still around in that uh, the low sixes and high fi high fives for um, mortgage interest rates. I'm going to pull up Mortgage uh, News Daily right now and see what they have for today's rates. So these are the latest mortgage interest rates. And they've got, okay, so they're up a little bit higher. The 30-year fixed rate, 6.45. That's a 30-year fixed rate. 30-year jumbo is 6% even. A 30-year FHA, folks, 5.9. A 30-year VA, 5.92. So the rates went up a little bit, about, you know, uh, seven basis points. So 0.07% increase. But um, so those rates are still much lower than they were a few months ago when they were in the sevens. Okay. Uh, so even if they were still in the sevens, you're better off paying 7% on a mortgage than paying 100% in rent, okay? If your family is growing, you need to buy a bigger house. You get relocated for a job, you need to buy another house. So there's, there are always going to be demands on, uh, in the housing market at large. Shout out to my buddy Ron Marcos, who just tuned in on Facebook Live as well. And folks, if we are Facebook friends, we, you'll be able to watch the show live on Facebook um, or catch it after the fact. You can also catch recorded, the show recorded on Spotify. If you just go on Spotify and look for the Joe Luca Real Estate Show, you can see all of our archives uh, as well. So the interest rates are kind of holding, okay? They're still uh, tr you know, trending downward. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen next week or even tomorrow after the president uh, speaks tonight. Um, but nevertheless, you need to start thinking about if you are going to have to sell your home, you do not want to delay or stop the preparation process, okay? Because there are things that you can do to prepare your home for sale so that you'll be able to maximize the value that you receive. The earlier you start that process, the better it is for you. Okay. Some reasons it's better too is if you need repairs done, you need a, to have a professional come in, a plumber, an electrician, a contractor. Those guys are really busy right now and not all of the materials are readily available. Not all the materials are readily available. So you don't want to have a contractor come in and you want to get the house on the market next week and oh yes, you know, that granite that you wanted or those cabinets that you wanted or whatever the repairs are, that color paint isn't available. So you want to still stay focused on what your objectives are regarding a real estate purchase or sale. Don't get derailed, don't get distracted by the news in the media, the headlines in the media. Because those are temporary. Those headlines are designed to put eyeballs on TV screens or, or you know, uh, mobile device screens. Um, or on newspapers to get you to read articles. Stay focused on the objective. Okay, we're going to have the Super Bowl in a short period of time, and I guarantee you that all of those players who are worth their salt are focused on one thing and one thing only, the opponent and their performance. They're focused on what they have to do to get done what they're going to need to get done. And that's the way you, the consumer, need to be in order to, again, receive maximum value from your real estate transaction. Okay? Stay focused. Prepare. Start early, whether you're buying or selling. The early you start preparing to buy your home, the better your credit rating will be, which means you get a better interest rate, which means your payments will be lower. Okay, sometimes it's a simple thing. Something that was, a, a, you know, a cell phone bill that was charged off a couple of years ago. Get rid of it. Okay, or you've just got some bills that are just lingering around. The payments are high and you only owe a few hundred dollars. Pay them off. Okay, but we're fortunate, you know, Joe Luca Realtor, we are fortunate that we have uh, John Dolbeck and Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation because they 
have credit repair services that they can connect you with. And I have a couple of folks that are working with Heath Lafort right now to prepare themselves so that they can buy a home, so they can qualify for a mortgage. Because folks, some of these people, they're paying $2,000 a month in rent for an apartment. You could definitely own a condominium for a mortgage that size. And then it's yours. The best way to find out, give me a call. Your humble host, Joe Luca, 401-409-5030, 401-409-5030. I'll answer any questions you have. I'll send you listings. You can ask me about properties that sold, that are just coming on the market, ones you live in, live in now. Um, I'll answer any questions that you have. Um, ask me your questions and I'll give you the answers, okay? So... The real estate market, again, you know, there are a couple of things, you know, one of the headlines on here, save money in the planet and energy efficient mortgage explained, you know, energy is something that's a big part of our lexicon today, climate change, um, green energy. These are all things that impact the price that we pay for our electricity, for our home heating oil, for our propane, for our natural gas. Okay. And a lot of times we feel kind of helpless because the prices are set, especially, you know, by the electric company or natural gas companies, you know, it's set by the PUC and you really don't have much of a choice. You just have to pay it. You can be a little bit more frugal, turn the thermostat down a little bit, put on a couple of extra sweaters, put those thick socks on every night. But the amount that you're paying for your to heat your home, whether it's propane, oil, pellets, uh, natural gas, it's a heck of a lot higher today than it was a few years ago. You know, when I, um, I think a few years ago, the, I was paying a dollar, I think I paid a dollar seventy nine a gallon for home heating oil, and last week I paid three. 82 and I'm glad that and that was good because if the time before that I paid 560 something 561 you know so that it's frustrating when we don't have control over things like that because that directly impacts how easy it is for you to pay your mortgage or pay your rent okay um, and those numbers have been going up 20 30 40 percent increases in energy costs and they're not it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing anything anytime soon to change that. So hopefully we're going to have a guest uh, calling in in about uh, six or seven minutes with some information and some options for folks on what they can do to help control energy costs, in particular electricity. And these are mostly for Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut areas. Okay. Um, anyone who does have questions, if you want to give us a call, 769-0600 in the 401 area code, and we'll try and get you on the air. Um, of course, my phone number, 401-409-5030, 401-409-5030. You can call me or text me at that number after the show, not during the show. And I'll answer any questions that you have about uh, your home, your parents' home, your siblings' home, whatever it is. Um, so I'll answer those questions for you. Now, what we have been seeing is the rate of home price growth, okay, Ec the rate that equity is being accumulated has definitely slowed, okay, and it's hit its lowest rate since summer of 2020, okay, so that's about two and a half years ago. So home price appreciation slowed to 6.9% in December, according to CoreLogic's Home Price Index. And folks, when I quote numbers, my numbers are, it's empirical data, and it's either from the National Association of Realtors, Realtor.com, or CoreLogic, or from uh, FHA in the, in the government. Okay. So home price appreciation, 6.9%. All right. That was a lot lower than the peak of 20%, which was in April of last year. That's crazy. 20% increase in the price of a home in one year. 
Okay. Now, there are certain areas of the country that are at risk for higher um, uh, rates of home price declines. Okay. And these are, last week we talked about the cities that were had the highest appreciation. These are the ones that are at risk for having a, a depreciation in value. Salem, Oregon, Bellingham, Washington, Bremerton, Silverdale, Washington, Crestview, Fort Walton Beach in Destin, Florida, and Olympia Turnwater in Washington. Okay, that's the top five. Four of them are in Washington State and Oregon, the Northwest and then one is in Florida, Destin, Florida. I'm not sure why that is, because every place else in Florida is pretty strong. Okay, some of the things that are impacting, uh, you know, the home values and the vitality of the home market is definitely the uncertain economic output uh, outlook. All right, you know, they talk about layoffs. Uh, you know, Amazon laid people off, Microsoft, Apple, all these companies that lay off five thousand here, ten thousand here. Well. You know, when you dig down a little bit deeper, most of those folks that were laid off, and again, this is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, most of those folks found other jobs, so they were not unemployed for very long. Okay? So yes, they're being laid off by company A, but they're being picked up by company C, D, and E. All right? So because we have this um, weaker economic outlook that is adversely impacting housing demand. That's adversely impacting housing demand because people aren't sure what they want to do. So they're just kind of tapping the brakes saying, you know what? I don't know if I want to buy a house right now. I don't know if I want to sell my house right now. Let's wait and see. Okay. And again, this is data that's just coming out this week. And this is, uh, you know, Market Watch, and it was, this was published today. So this is super fresh data. Okay. Um, so what does that mean? If you have your house on the market and you're getting an offer, talk with your realtor about how good of an offer it is. Because many times that offer is the best you're going to see for a while. Okay. So it's very important to keep your thumb on the pulse of the market. Keep your thumb on the pulse of the market. And, all right. And we have, okay, the great Sean Smith has called in. So we're going to pick him up right now. Hello, Sean. Hello, Sean. How are you? How are you? Everybody, this is uh, Sean Smith, the Sean Smith. Uh, Sean and I are friends and uh, we do a lot of work together and Sean is the go-to guy as I talked about a few minutes ago regarding the price of a lot of services that um, you know you encounter and have to deal with as a homeowner um, a lot of them are going up but you don't have to accept those big increases so, Sean, what's going on with the electric market now? I know, you know, we hear a lot about this in the, um, you know, in, in the international and global news and national news, um, and even especially here in Rhode Island, Mass, and Connecticut, right? Now, are these like single-digit low um, increases, or what? What kind of? Uh, you know, what's the magnitude of these? Um, up in some areas, they were um, twenty. The supplier um, is, is, of course, your your electric bill and your um, gas bill are divided into two two, two rates. Um, one of them is the uh, provider charge, 
and one of them was the supplier charge, and the provider charge went up uh, whenever they got the approval from the Public Utilities Commission. And on average, the rate that they see was somewhere um, anywhere, anywhere from 10% up to 20 and 30% in some, in some areas, depending on uh, what arrangements that they had. So I guess, you know, the, the $50,000 question is, what recourse, what other options are available for uh, homeowners, for consumers, even, and not even homeowners, I mean, even renters, everybody has an electric bill. Yeah, so uh, simply, it is, you know, um, the, the biggest, the $50 million question, of course, Joe, is that uh, since Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut, they are all deregulated states where you can choose your supplier. Um, specifically, um, when it comes to electricity, there, there are many, many choices out there um, to do that uh, other than uh, going with the utility company, uh, Rhode Island Energy or Energy Source, um, et cetera. You can, you can choose your supplier to go out and um, to, to, to lock, you even, there's variable rate plans, there are green energy plans, there are fixed rate plans, which um, or another option, um, so you can be able to lock in your uh, supplier for a specified of up to 12, 24, and then up to 36 months hmm. in, in the States to, um, to hedge against future increases. All right, that, that's uh, pretty intriguing. Now, what about it, um, for like the heating side of things, if it's like natural gas or you know, that, or yeah, that side as well as you know electricity. Are there options for uh, consumers in that regard? The options. The best places um, to do that. We we our our company uh, services about that you and I work with. We we um, are working with. Um, we we have a choice for an energy supplier that can help you with that. In regards to uh, gas, there are some choices as well. Um, the I believe currently that there's only the, the sources for the for the electricity that we can help lock in rates at this time. Okay. For natural gas. Okay. Now, yeah. So the we you know the company that we're working on with the services Butler. What are some of the other um, products or services that if someone were looking to kind of uh, reduce or control their expenses so that they could more easily pay their mortgage or their rent or any other bills that they have um, every month? So that's, a, that's a very, very great question. So we have, um, on the residential side of things, we offer uh, gas and electric in 19 markets. We offer uh, wireless cell phone service that we can go out and uh, help you um, do a, we call a utility checkup. On, uh, to make sure that you're getting your best value, um, you're on the correct plan. Um, we also have uh, identity theft protection, which is a great product that you can do, is especially if you're in the home buying process, that allows you to uh, they monitor your identity to make sure that no, no new accounts are getting opened up. Um, we're having a lot of uh, identity theft going on. Um, it seemed to be increasing a little bit more since the, the, the pandemic. Um, people are taking accounts out in their names. Um, I got a letter the other day from Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Yep. An alert from Home Depot that uh, someone attempted to open a Home Depot account in my wife's name, but they could not find her social security number. So I got that information there. And so uh, that's on the identity theft home front. We also offer bundled services, um, television, um, internet in some markets, and we also... Uh, have uh, home security and automation. We have a partnership with uh, with Vivid that we can uh, protect your home as well. So that is that something like where you can monitor who rings your doorbell and put cameras around the house? Is is that what that is? Yeah, that's uh, basically a smart home, and, and also that ties in your to your to your energy savings as well. Um, we have a home security and automation system that connects your um, your your your, ne your Nest thermostat um, controls all of your uh, 
your doorbell, your, uh, your cameras in and out. It, uh, so you can adjust your thermostat from like from a, a mobile device while you're not even home. So you can turn the heat on before you get home or turn it down if it's if you're not going to be home for a while. Exactly. And then even Rhode Island Energy is offering rebates for that as well for your ops, your uh, best thermostats. So there's many, many advantages to uh, for a free forever to to mm -hmm. help conserve energy, to help be protected and, uh, from your home. So, sorry, so, so Rhode Island Energy. So now you, if you choose a different sur supplier, Rhode Island Energy is still going to send you a bill every month. It's just a portion of the bill will be we dedicated to the supplier that you selected so that you can save money. Is, is that accurate? Correct. Yes. So you're going to get a, uh, you're still going to get your nothing. No, your service is not going to change. You're still going to get a bill from Rhode Island Energy every month for their provider charge. That's bringing the electricity from the pole to your, to your home. And then there's a separate called a supply charge. And that's where you get to go out and choose your supplier. And it could be from a myriad of uh, suppliers that you choose from. And you will see that separate portion on your bill, and you still pay. You still write your check to Rhode Island Energy. You still uh, no. There's no service interruptions. This is you get a, a choice of your supplier. So you would still be able. So you could choose a different supplier. You still get your bill from Rhode Island Energy. So you could still get the rebates or the incentives from Rhode Island Energy to utilize those uh, Nest type thermostats. Correct. Exactly, yes. So, I mean, I even just took advantage of, um, I had a tankless water heater installed um, from a local contractor. I'm still able to take advantage of that rebate for the natural gas for um, putting an energy um, efficient uh, tankless water heater in. Brought my electric, brought, brought my gas bill down um, as well, and also had my thermostat, and it was able to uh, help me protect, uh, protect myself during the frigid winter that we had over the last week. All right, that's good to know. And now you said something too about um, uh, like internet bundling and, and uh, cell phones and some other services like that. So how, how, does, how does that work? Because it seems like, cheapers, if you could save, you know, 10 or 15% on your cell phone, I mean, on your electric bill, and then you get the rebate for the thermostats, and then you can get uh, some other type of savings with your because I know my, man, I, I have Verizon Fios. I can't believe how expensive it is. And if I get rid of the TV, I save five bucks a month. It's like, what, you know, it's, it's really ridiculous. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have regarding the uh, internet. Yeah, so, so currently, um, we haven't launched it yet, but in the upcoming months, we're going to have a partnership um, with one of the major 5G carriers. Um, in the area to be able to um, offer 5G home internet. And I, I currently have, I'm using one right now and I'm getting speeds um, much higher than um, the, the typical cable company mm -hmm. has. And uh, it's a great service and it's all transmitted through 5G. And so the it's going to become more widespread over the next six months to 12 months of the more 5G towers that pop up um, in our neighborhoods throughout Rhode Island and Massachusetts. The, the availability to more of cut the cord from your traditional cable company internet. I'm getting speeds of up to 300 to 400 megabits per second on my upload speed. Wow. Wow. And that, and also, I know there's uh, cell phone services. I, I I've used that, and I've saved a ton of money when I switched over to that. And tell us a little bit about um, the opportunity there. Yeah, so our cell phone service is on the the largest five G network out here, and we we share that network similar to like Metro PCS shares it with uh, T Mobile, and we're on the uh, on a network. The, the largest 5G network to do that. And um, our s savings is we're in sometimes 20 to 30% cheaper um, than 
horizon and, and sprint in some cases, or we can uh, save you money every single month. And uh, there's an opportunity, an affiliate opportunity, where when you refer five uh, wireless customers to mm-hmm. the uh, company, you can earn your cell phone bill for free. Yep. So now, Sean, what if someone has, like, they've been hearing all this information and they want to learn more about it, what would be the best way for them to do it? What website, phone, excuse me, phone number? Yeah, so, so currently right now, the easiest way is you can drop a comment um, in, into the chat for the Joe Luca real estate show that we have and you say you would like a utility checkup. Or you can reach out to Joe or myself, my cell phone number is 401 401- Five two five four three three four. Say that again. Four zero one five two five four three three four. And if you want to reach me, folks, it's four zero one four zero nine five zero three zero. You are listening to the Joe Luca Real Estate Show. We're talking with uh, with my friend and uh, business uh, partner Sean Smith. And you know, I have real estate concierge services as part of this products and services I offer my clients. Um, Sean has, you know, Butler service, uh, Butler, and these are opportunities for folks to reduce the amount that they're spending on their existing home bills. Now, if you are going to the home show in a couple of weeks, guess what? We're going to be there. We're going to have a booth there. Just have to look for us when you come into the uh, home show area. Um, so that's something else. If you're going to the home show, and the home show uh, it's right down at the convention center in Providence, um, it's uh, it'll be a great opportunity to meet you to see you guys there. But also, you get to see a lot of other home service providers, uh, you know, and also. Um, landscaping, all kinds of, of um, companies that offer a lot of great services for homeowners, okay? We just have to come to the Rhode Island Home Show, and uh, like I said, that's um, at the, the convention center, and it's March 30th to April 2nd. March 30th to April 2nd, that's the Rhode Island Home Show, and... Um, Yeah, you can learn more about our services there or just call my number, 401-409-5030. And Sean, please repeat your number. That is 401-525-4334. That's 401-525-4334. So folks, if you have any questions on, uh, you know, what you need to do to save money on your electric bill or you want to reduce your cell phone bill or identity theft, you want to avoid that whole uh, precarious situation, uh, you just have to you know, give uh, one of us a call or come to the home show in a few weeks or maybe in a month, in a month and um, check us out there because we'll be able to answer all of your questions. We're going to have some raffles there as well. Um, that's at the Rhode Island Home Show. And it's actually the 73rd annual Rhode Island Home Show. And it's at the... Um, convention center and they're going to have a you know specialty flower show this this year as well so there's going to be a lot of um interesting things and there's going to be an energy expo as well and um that's something i'm curious to learn a little bit more about uh you know when when we get there because that's going to be out in front right is that uh, is that correct sean the 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 energy expo portion is going to be right before you come into the convention center like in that uh open area Correct. Yes, they're going to have the flower show to the left and uh, the energy expo to the right. And uh, we'll be right in, once you walk in the front door, we'll be in uh, booth 602 is our planning booth, and we're going to be there. Um, and uh, we'll be there um, with all the other vendors. I'm looking excited to uh, to share everybody what we're doing um, with all of our residential business services that we have to offer and uh, provide value everybody up there as we as we launch in our uh, venture to the first our, our first appearance in the Rhode Island Home Show. Yep. Yep, exactly, exactly. That's uh it'll be our first time there. Another home show. I've uh, been to the home show, I had a booth at the home show 
previously for real estate and for other business ventures, and it's a, it's a heck of an opportunity to um, really get out there and see a lot of products and services available to property owners. And even if you don't own the property, but you want to make your yard look nice uh, or your home look nice, you can learn about flowers and landscaping, all the different gardening opportunities. Um, and that's at the Rhode Island Home Show um, at the Convention Center. And that's from March 30th to April 2nd, uh, a little bit over a month away, I guess, a month and a half away. And if you have any questions, again, you can reach out to me, 401-409-5030. And I want to thank uh, Sean very much for coming on to the show and sharing some information with us. And um, Sh Sean, thank you very much. And I guess we'll probably talk tomorrow. Yes, sounds perfect. And uh, we're uh, working, finalizing, getting Megan from the uh, Rhode Island uh, Builders Association to be a guest here in the upcoming weeks so she can uh, share uh, some more facts about the home show for you. That's right. That's right. Very good. Okay, Sean, thank you very much, and we'll be in touch. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening to everything we had to say with Sean Smith, my buddy and uh, business partner, the Sean Smith. You're listening to the Joe Luca Real Estate Show right here in WNRI. 99.9 FM, 1380 on the AM dial, as well as on WNRI.com. And if you want to check us out on Spotify, just look for the Joe Luca Real Estate Show, and you will find our entire archives of shows going back a few years. Okay. Um, big uh, JR, the pro great producer here at WNRI, just gave me a nice thumbs up. Thank you, JR. So, yes, yeah, so the real estate market, things are still viable. You know, it, it's very precarious because there's a lot of confusing information out there. I know, I get it. Um, you know, if you're a first time home buyer or you're a step up home buyer and you may not know what the deal is, what's going on with interest rates, what's going on with the economy, is there going to be a recession or not? You know, if I buy a home now and there is a recession, what does that mean? You know, there's a lot of confusing information out there and the, you know, focus on your goals and objectives regarding home ownership, whether it's buying or selling, stay true to those goals and objectives. So that way you don't get distracted and miss out on an opportunity. Okay. I've had clients who have been cheaper. We have, uh, you know, one, a couple of clients who have been looking for a home for a year and a half they started, interest rates were in the threes, and they had set up criteria based on the price of the house because that price would yield a mortgage payment that they felt comfortable with. Well, they still have the price guideline, okay, that they're going by looking for homes. But of course, mortgage rates have doubled since they started looking, so their mortgage payment has now gone up. And in addition to that, what you get for that same dollar amount is less now because home values have increased. Okay, not significantly, but you know, 4% one year, 6% the year before that, that's 10%. And if you're looking at a even a $300,000 home, that's 30,000 extra dollars that you have to pay to get, to get the same home. And the fact that interest rates have gone up too, the cost of buying the home and the cost of owning the home, living in the home, your housing cost is up precipitously. Well, Joe, I think I should just wait until the rates go back down again. Listen, you can wait. We don't know when they're going to go down. Personally, I don't think we're going to see 3% again. Not in my lifetime. I'm in my 50s. I don't think we're going to see it. We did because we hadn't seen it before. Go all the way back to the 60s. I mean, people were paying 4 and 5% on mortgages. So, again, 8% is the historic average. We're at sixes now and high fives. This is not a bad time to buy a home. We were very spoiled because we had an artificially deflated, depressed mortgage market. 
those rates were depressed because the Fed was lending money at 0% to banks. So they could, lend, they could loan it out at very low interest rates. That's not the case. The Fed's, you know, if the Fed's going to be loaning money out at four and a half to five percent, you're not going to be getting a three or four percent mortgage. Okay. So it's not. This is not the time to delay buying a home. This is not the time. Definitely not the time to delay selling your home because there's very little inventory out there very little inventory. We're talking about less than a third of the way to a balanced market. Actually about a fifth of the way to a balanced market. Only 20% there. So put your home on the market so that you can sell it because again, if we our economy is very psychological. People our economy is strong and things are vibrant when people believe it's strong and vibrant. And when you have all of this negativity coming, people talking about a recession, oh, we're in a recession, we've been in a recession, we're going to be in a recession, whatever it is, that makes a certain segment of the population hit the brakes, tap the brakes, whoa, let's slow down, is this a good time to, to do what we want to do? Is this a good time to buy a car? Is this a good time to take a vacation? Is this a good time to buy a home, sell a home? Well, yes, it is, because unemployment is at historic lows. We just created 500,000 new jobs. That was in the month of January. So these are, there are a lot of, I call them data sets that you can look at and you could make a very strong case for why the economy is going to heck in a handbasket. And you could look at another data set and demonstrate that this economy is very strong and vibrant. And I'll tell you what folks, it's both. There are certain segments of the economy that are very weak. There are certain segments of the economy that are very strong. There are certain segments of the real estate marketplace that are very strong locally and nationally. And then there are other areas that it's very weak or weakening. And we talked about that earlier, okay, that there were several communities, mostly in Oregon and Washington state, that are forecast to have significant declines in their the value of their homes. But I'll tell you what, around here in the Northeast, I, I, you know, the market's very vibrant. Is it taking longer to sell homes? Yes, it's taking longer to sell homes, but they're selling. And it depends on the price point and the location. Okay, we had a Condominium listed at $275,000. We had more buyers than we could, almost more buyers than we could count this past weekend. $275,000 two-bedroom bath and a half townhouse. Other properties priced at $350,000, $400,000, $450,000 in the same town are languishing on the market for one reason or another. That's the same town. Okay, so there are different aspects of of um, the marketplace that are stronger than in other areas. Okay, you can't uh, compare urban areas, let's say like Providence, to Barrington or East Greenwich. Very different marketplaces. Now, maybe within Providence, you're looking at the east side of Providence, then you could make certain comparisons can't compare home the home marketplace in uh, the housing economy in Ohio or Indiana with Florida or eastern Massachusetts like the greater Boston area very different there are different market forces at work and those are the things that impact value and saleability of properties so if you are a tenant and you want to be a homeowner someday, don't delay. Take the first step. Give me a call, 401-409-5030. Give Dolbeck a call at, at uh, Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, 401-321-4401. And we'll put you on a path to become a homeowner. 
Maybe you'll be able to buy something right away. Maybe you'll have to wait six months. Maybe you'll have to wait a year. But, you know, the old Confucius saying, a journey of a thousand steps, or if a thousand miles takes, starts with one step. A journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. The journey to buy a home, to prepare to become a homeowner, starts with one phone call, 401-409-5030. And then you take your time, whether you're ready to do it right away. No, Joe, I want to wait. Okay, well, take your time. I'm not going to rush you. As a realtor, selfishly speaking, I like to have buyers at every stage of the game. Some that are buying this week, next month, the month after that, six months out. Okay, that's consistency of business. So that's important for me. It's important for you to work with someone like me because I'm not going to rush you. Okay, some realtors are like, no, you got to buy a house in two weeks. Not me. It's all about you. You're my boss. You, the consumer, the home buyer, the home seller. A few weeks ago, I told, talked about uh, my colleague and I, we went to look at, uh, do a pre-listing presentation for this woman you know, she's not in a big rush to sell the house. It's a, it's a second house that she has. She's got to do a lot of things, and she takes her time. All right, she can take her time because that's the the pace at that works for her. That's the pace that works for her. We can't force her to rush. Part of what we do is we minimize or reduce the stress that consumers experience during the transaction process, whether buying or selling. That's why it's important to work with a knowledgeable, experienced realtor, a knowledgeable, experienced lender, a local lender. You know, of course, this show is sponsored by John Dolbeck at Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, but there are a lot of other great lenders in this state or in these states, Rhode Island and Massachusetts, that we enjoy working with because they're local, they're invested in the community, they have friends and family that live here. When you're working with one of those big national lending companies, if it's a big institution like a big bank or one of those companies that has a name that sounds like a, a spaceship, you know, they're, they're not really here for you. They're here to get your business and that's it. Okay? Local lenders are very important, okay? So, folks, we're running out of time. This is the Joe Luca Real Estate Show right here on WNRI, 99.9 on the FM dial, 1380 on the AM dial. You can also check us out at WNRI.com. Next up is my buddy Rick Murnier with the Old Time Preaching Ministry coming up right here on WNRI. Check out our archives, Joe Luca Real Estate Show on Spotify. We... We'll be back next week. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.